Can you see our little visitor? It's about, it's about 10 o'clock at night. This is the possum that comes and eats the leftover bird seed at night. You don't get to see them very often, they're quite shy. But that's her. Last time I saw her, she still had a baby with her, but the baby's obviously moved on. Can't zoom in too much, it just gets grainy. But that's her having a feed. Try to keep the dogs quiet so they don't scare her off. <laughs> All right, I'll let it eat in peace. G'day, guys, welcome back. Another swipe today in lime green. I wonder what that's going to be like, hey? Did you see the previous swipe where I did that sort of dark burgundy colour? And I swiped the dark burgundy over pretty light colours. But now that I've got a light swipe colour, I need to have dark colours underneath. I'm just going to pop some bubbles. I need to just mix that up and it was really bubbly, so give it a bit of a spray with the blowtorch. Not too much though, you'll melt your plastic cup. Right, um, now as you can see, yes, swiping with the lime. So I've got purple, dark green, magenta and phthalo blue. Now these have all been mixed with my 60% glue, 40% pouring medium. And they mixed one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. Because I like it a little bit thinner when I swipe. And I'm going to put two drops of the treadmill silicone in each colour. You can either put it in the colours or you can put it in your swipe colour. One or the other. I've done both. They both work. So if you actually forget to put your oil in and you've covered your surface, you can just pop it in your swipe colour. It works really well. So give that a good stirring. So hopefully these colours will be alright. I haven't done a practice piece. I'm just experimenting and you guys are coming along and watching the experiments. So the first one, as I said, I did that dark burgundy. This one's going to be lime. I'm thinking of doing like a creamy colour next, like a creamy tan sort of a colour on my next one with some chocolates and some turquoises underneath. So that should hopefully will be really pretty if that works. So let's go. We've got the oil in. We've stirred it up. Just need to coat the surface now. Uh, this is a card, 30 by 40 centimetre thick card that I've got. I just get them on eBay, but you can get them lots of places, no doubt. Just search thick card. <laughs> I think this one's about... Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how thick it is. It's pretty thick. It doesn't warp. And people say to me, what do you do with these cards? Well, you can um, resin them, I guess. Use them as, you know, placemats on the dinner table. You could put them under glass and frame them, hang them up. You could put them in a clear display folder and just have them in a book to look at. You know, a coffee table book. Lots of things you could do with them, I guess. Or you could just practice on them. You know, when, when you don't want to necessarily use a big canvas, um, but you still want to do a pour, these are really handy. Because you don't have to prep your canvas and put your push pins in and then, you know, try and find somewhere to store it. So, yeah, they're great for practicing or... Just doing something quick and easy like I'm doing today. I'm doing a series of these and, you know, I might do six or eight of them and I don't necessarily want to use six or eight canvases because I'm just doing this for a bit of fun and a bit of an experiment. So it's a lot cheaper too by just doing this. You don't have to spend a lot of money on canvases. I hope this is going to work. These colours look very dark, don't they? But I'm hoping that they'll pop with that lime. If they don't, well, 
I haven't wasted a lot because I haven't used a lot of paint. It's only uh, 45 grams of pouring medium to 30 grams of paint. So it's not a lot of paint that's wasted. And don't worry about if you haven't filled in all your little gaps yet because we're going to pick this up and tilt it around. And when I say we are, I mean me. <laughs> you can watch. <laughs> all right, now I'll just put that one out of the way for a minute. So those are my colours. Plum. These are all Montmartre. Magenta. The phthalo blue. I'm not going to get all the bottles down off the shelves. That's the dark green. They've got a few different shades of green. And then that one's called light green, which is a lime. I've got my bit of plastic ready to go to swipe with. And I've just got paint on it. And I've got my paper towel ready to go as well. Righto. Now I'm just going to hang on to the card. If you don't hang on to the card, you might lose it. It might go flying straight off. So just cover your surface. I didn't put my little marks down, so I don't know where to put it back now. I'll have to have a have to jump up on and have a look and see. Make sure it's still in frame for you. So just move all that paint around. And see how the middle gaps have all been covered in now. So your swipe colour has to be thinner than your regular colours. So as I said, the regular colours are one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint my swipe color is a bit thinner it is two to one so two parts pouring medium to one part paint well wow, that magenta has really taken over hasn't it let me just make sure that you're still in the frame yes you are i was going to zoom you in but i can't zoom you in with gloves on all right let's do this shall we and hope that it works. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of the lime through the centre. And then, oops, I'm going to get my paper towel ready. I can just sit there. Now, put the plastic in the green. Make sure one foot's behind the other. Take half the green, really. Just let it sit there. And then drag towards you. Oh, that's quite a lot of green in there. Wow. It's bright though. Look how bright it is against those other colours, which is what you want. So if you're going to do a dark swipe, make sure you have light colours underneath. And if you're doing a nice light swipe, a uh, dark swipe, um, like a navy or a black, then you have to go with light colours underneath. I haven't got too much green on here now. Right, let me take some of this green back the other way. Make sure it's got good contact all the way along. And off we go. A little bit stripey this one because I've pulled a little bit more of the colour underneath the green. I wasn't just touching the green, I was kind of touching the colour underneath as well. So let's torch that and see what happens. Woo! Look, look at those cells that are coming up on their own. Let me just get that out of the way. I might have put a little bit too much green in the centre because it's still quite a lot there. But let's go for this with my little blowtorch. Round and round in circles. Let's see what will come up, hey? Where the green is quite thick in the middle, I'm not really likely to get much coming through there. But I am hoping to get some in the rest of it. So, and I, I personally don't mind that sort of green stripe in the middle or whatever colour you used in the middle. I think it's a nice sort of resting point, a bit of negative space, place to rest your eyes amongst all the busyness of everything else. 
yeah, I did put a little bit too much green in the middle there, as you can see. Uh, so there we go. Look at those cells. Now, this mix is a little bit thicker than my previous one. I thought, I thought oh, the previous one, the cells kind of grew a little bit too much. So I uh, made this one just a tad thicker. Now, I'm going to torch, sorry, I'm going to wipe this off and I am going to swipe again to see if I can get some of that green. Is that warped? Looks like it's kind of warped a little bit. Hang on one sec. Let's see if I can find another sheet. It doesn't look as if it's warped. This is a hole and I haven't cut this one yet. All right, let's just pop that into the green there. And off we go. Whoops, I've missed a corner. Fold that over. Now I'll just use my little card for the other. Oh, I just got paint on that. Hang on one sec. Didn't know where to put it. I kind of put it underneath. Here, <laughs> I've got paint on it. Well, I'll take it with me. I'm just going to grab a card. I should always have one of these handy. <gasps> Look at that background colour. Just a little paint sample chip card from the hardware store. Like so. All right, now let me turn him around. Still going to have quite small cells though. I think. Okay. Right. I put a little bit more green just there. It looks as if I'm going to pull some other colours. Oh, I'm touching the whole thing. See how I'm touching here? That's not good. You don't want that. Because uh, you just want, see, see all that that I pulled with me? You do not want that. Um, it just takes, it takes too much colour off instead of just dragging your green over the top. But wow, look at those colours. My gosh. Talk about um, northern lights, eh? Wow. Okay. Um just get this a little bit on the edge here don't really need to but might as well very northern lights looking isn't it right let's torch hopefully there's enough paint left on the canvas for me to get some cells up popping a few bubbles down here Love that there, the blue into the magenta. It's gone quite purple, hasn't it? Still not going to get much through here though. Look at that. I'm torching that. There's not much coming through there. I think I'll leave it. Not, not get too much. Um, I think it's really pretty that background. Let's not go overboard. Wow. Love that one. Let me get you down for a close up. I'll take my gloves off so I can reuse them again. So the thicker your mix, your, your colours underneath, the smaller your cells will be. <clears throat> so, you know, it, I might have just been maybe five grams or three grams more paint or something like that. It does make a big difference. Oh, where can I stand? Oh, I don't know. Let me come around here. <clears throat> got the light over there. All right. That's pretty good. Even though I've got a, a glary light above me. Look at the cells. Look at the background, hey? 
so pretty the magenta ones have got like a bluey purple center loving that background now you can see what I mean about those dark colors that I put underneath really popping through because I swiped with the light color they almost look 3D. Look at those. Don't go blurry when I say look at those. They're really pretty cells. but I mean, they're a little on the small side, but that's okay. Cells are cells, hey? <clears throat> One advantage, I guess, is they're not going to sort of grow and wobble out of shape. They'll just stay this size. Just cute little cells, hey? There we go. I'll get that light away. What do you think? Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure about the colours, but um, yeah, I think that's it's really, really pretty. It's bright. Northern lights. We'll call it northern lights. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to mix up some light brown, like a taupe or a tan, I guess, that I want to swipe with. And I'm going to swipe over a chocolate, um, maybe some white and turquoise, and, and mm, maybe not white. We'll see, see what happens. All right, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.